will be installing a, another sheet of mylar that goes right on top of this polyester felt. Remember the water is going to be dribbling down across this, but we don't want that heated water to evaporate, so we're going to encase it in another sheet of mylar. Roll out our mylar like this. I know it must look a little bizarre, and there's a reason for that. It is. just another alternative to fossil fuel. Okay. Go. Okay, after our the top foot bib is installed, we have to press, we, ha we need something to hold this mylar film in place and also this uh, bib. So we have these uh, side supports. Notice there's a little notch cut in the very end and this notch uh, is, is put there for the trickle-down tube. The trickle-down tube is going to rest on top of that notch. So we just press these in like this. That holds the mylar in place. And then we have one more on this side. And the wind is blowing. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we just press these in like this, and this, this holds the mylar in place. Okay, and after the mylar is in place, we can put our top, uh, our top trickle-down chamber support in place. Remember these little rubber bumpers on the bottom? They they press the uh, the layers together uh, so they don't move when the water goes through them. Okay, so all we have to do now is just screw these down. I screwed this in and out so many times, I don't know. it's amazing that this screw still holds. Remember, this is just an experimental fixture. Oh, one thing we forgot to do, uh, we should have done this before we put our side supports in, but we need this um, one more bib that goes over the uh, mylar film before it enters the gutter. Okay, now we're ready to install our trickle-down tube. Remember the two spigots in the trickle-down tube? This is where the water will come out. This is three-quarters of an inch. Uh, the uh, trickle, the uh, the tube, the the spigots are quarter inch. So we're going to press this right down into our trickle down slot like this, and this could be done after the collector is installed on the roof, actually, if you want to. And uh, after that's in place, we're going to install our gutter in the bottom of our collector, the, the foot of our collector I should say. Okay. All right, the, la uh, the last thing we're going to do is install our gutter. Okay. Remember the gutter with the slot in it, that's what this is all about. The trickle down water is going to flow through the uh, polyester felt and uh, this is our So we have to slide it in like this. Okay.
Now these flanges on the end, we want these to go out like this. This prevents water from dripping over the edge. Okay. And we have an end cap thanks to beech nut baby food. And this prevents water from dripping over the edge. I'm sure you can come up with better ways of doing it. Well, maybe not better, but different different ways. I think this works really good. You got to put a little silicone caulking on it. Okay. So that's our basic MTD collector. The only other thing we need now is our glazing material. And this is polycarbonate glazing material. I'll put it on backwards. Go like this. And it sets down into these notches. Okay, and on this end, you come over here. This is the, the head of the collector. Our tube is going to be pressed down like this so the water flows down and doesn't leak out over the ends. And then we can tuck this in just to make sure. And we're going to screw this into the, the, the flanges of our collector, but I'm not going to waste your precious time doing that now. Uh, anyway, that's, this is how it's installed. This goes right up here. Like this. And there's two other things. I'm not going to screw these in, but I just wanted to show you. This is the end cap for the head of our collector. And it goes right, right up here. And this is all made with steel stud slots. And that'll get screwed down here. Remember, we're not collecting rainwater, we're collecting heat. And this is the end cap. I'll come around this way. This is the end cap for our gutter. This is going to cover our gutter. Okay, and that just slides right into this notch. I'm not going to do that right now, but I just wanted to show you how that fits. Okay, folks, thanks for your time, and good luck with your solar projects. Okay, this is what our finished little experimental MTD collector looks like. You can see I put a cap over the trickle-down chamber on top so water doesn't get in there. And I also put a cap over the gutter. Um, so our pump is on, the sun is out, uh, well actually it's in and out, we've got a, a number of clouds today. Right now the sun is shining, but what do you think we can do to improve the collection of heat? Because the, we, we don't want the pump to uh, be working when the sun is behind a cloud. It's not going to collect much heat that way. Uh, so we're taking temperature readings right now. One of the probes is inside the gutter and the other probe is uh, inside this little storage tank. Anyway, we'll take a look at the data a little later. In the meantime, see if you can figure out a way to get a net heat gain. Okay. Thanks again for your time, folks.